Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. To all you new viewers, welcome to the channel. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, comment down below. To all you returning viewers, welcome back. Um, I want to go ahead and give you guys a quick overview of the 3DR Solo app. Uh, I've actually been meaning to do this for a month or so now. However, my Mavic came in and I got totally uh, sidetracked with that. So here we go. For all of you have, that have seen the DJI Go 4.0 app, you'll see this interface here on the 3DR Solo is so much cleaner uh, and easier to see. It's less cluttered. When you actually log, uh, log on to the app and open it up, this is what you see. If you want to plan your flight, uh, if you want to get any details on the weather, whether it's windy, the temperature outside, the rain forecast, the, all this flight planning is right here for you. Um, if you go ahead and click on it, it'll actually show you if there are any helipads or any sort of warnings in the area, which you can see I am surrounded in. Aside from that, you can see right here, you have your basic settings. Flight School and Support. Flight School is actually a couple of videos that give you a quick walkthrough uh, of the device when you first get it. Uh, as far as your advanced settings, your follow me mode, how to install the gimbal if you have that, uh, and safety first type things. I actually did watch them. Some were pretty interesting and came in handy for a first time flyer, uh, or a first time 3DR drone flyer I should say. Uh, if you want to connect your vehicle, literally right over here is what you do you go ahead and hit connect log on to your wi-fi network of this solo and you'll see your remote right over here and your drone itself right over there uh, once it's connected they actually both glow green once you're connected you're obviously going to go ahead and click fly solo and you can see clearly i'm not connected at the moment however if you were you'd see a live view of whatever your camera is if you have that installed uh, if not you can go ahead and scroll over to the left and kind of see a Google Maps overview of your area a little satellite image up on the top bar here you can see you have your distance from home your altitude whether you're connected or disconnected uh, your battery status I believe is what this will show and your controller signal if you click on the little movie theater icon, you'll see your six flight modes, whether it be selfie, cable cam, orbit, follow, um, pano, and zip line. My favorite ones that I've used quite frequently are follow and zip line. The panorama one uh, is interesting. It'll take about six or seven pictures, depending on what kind of panorama you want to take and it will not stitch them together. It'll kind of just give you seven photos and you need to get your own app to do that. Zipline is exactly what it sounds like. It's gonna be, uh, you're gonna set a course and it's gonna go as it was on a zipline in the same direction. Follow me is obviously just that. It'll follow you. Orbit will circle you or your subject. Cable cam is pretty similar to zipline and selfie is obviously if you wanna take a photo of yourself. Uh, at any given height. You can also go into your save shots if you have any of those. We don't. That is it. As you can see, this video is going to be five or six minutes long as opposed to my DJI Mavic video that was easily ten minutes long without even touching the surface. Uh, your settings are even very simple. You can see you have settings for your drone, for the return home settings for it, if there's any updates available, your units of measurement, if you want voice alerts, system information. Uh, and that is it. There is not too much to it. It is awesome for beginners, for autonomous flights who want something a little more advanced than, uh, say, a Mavic, but don't want the toy of a parrot. So there you are, guys. I hope this touched on those couple subjects for you. Uh, if not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you have any questions on, and I'll try to get back with you all as soon as possible. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you thumbs up this video. And until next time, see you.